Jeff, I see you've got wood. <laughs> it's just, you know, oh, it's just childish. Grow up. Yeah, really. <laughs> this is an adult show. What's wrong with you, all right? Yeah, I mean, oh, really. No. I, wh why have you uh, got wood, Jeff? Well, I w wanted you to uh, make... Oh, no, shut uh, up. Wait a second. Are you, are you cold? Yeah, I'm cold, man. W why are you cold? Well, because the fire's died down a bit. All right, shall I... Uh... Throw a little log in. All right, then. There you go. <laughs> That's much better. Very nice. I'm very excited about the show tonight. Oh, yeah? Why? Well, it's the one show that we do every year on the night that Houdini was born. <laughs> Where the hell, the hell did that noise come from? What noise are you talking about, Jeff? I didn't hear any noise. That was it, right there. I just heard it, right there. No, I didn't hear any noise. Right. Okay, all right. all right. Are you on a lot of medication right now, John? No, well, I have to be to get through this program. Yes, I understand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, I sometimes take cold medication, uh, you know, when I have a cold. And uh, I notice it makes me a little alert. Yeah, alert, yeah. It makes you, makes you alert, yeah. <laughs> makes me feel a little... See, that's, that's it right there. That's the thing I'm talking about. I don't know what you're talking about. But I, I do know this. I noticed the laughter change in the audience from the beginning. It was a genuine mystified kind of, ah, 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 and now it's gone to a bit kind of like, ah, 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 ah. Ah, ah, ah. I'm scared. Let me put your mind at ease. Many of the studio audience are a little afraid tonight, but they're from Canada. And you know, I love my Canadian brothers and sisters, you know this. Uh, you do. You, I do, I love, my, I love me some Canadians. <laughs> <laughs> but not all of them. <laughs> More will be revealed. Sponsored by Direct TV. Don't just watch TV, Direct TV. Call 1 800 Direct TV. Ladies and gentlemen, Craig Ferguson. like being hit with an organic ball of orgasmic energy. Orgasmic energy, yeah. I had the warm-up comedian saying it before I come out. Hey, please hit him with an organic ball of orgasmic... I thought, I don't want to be hit by organic balls. <laughs> and then I thought, yes, I do. <laughs> do you, do you... Never, it's a bad yeah, question no, for you. Don't. All right, I... Do you like being hit by... Sure, it depends on how many. Sure, it depends on how many, yeah. <laughs> Well, a very good audience. I'm very excited. Very good. I feel good. like I could do two shows with this two audience. Shows. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry, folks at home. I won't. <laughs> uh, it's a great day for America, everybody. Yes, 
It's a great day if you love magic and illusion because today is Harry Houdini's birthday. Yes, it is. Ooh. Yes. He was born on this day in 1874. Or was he? <laughs> I don't know. I could do that noise do with my hand. Yeah, I like that. Let's do it again. No, no. He, uh, anyway, he was, uh, he, he was born on the stroke of midnight. All right, that's it, Adam, that's it. <laughs> Most people think Houdini was a magician, but that's not true. All right, stop it! No more weird, creepy noises unless I make them. <laughs> Houdini was, that is, well, actually is uh, technically known as an escape artist. Do we have a picture of Houdini? There he is. I think he decided to be an escape artist right after Mrs. Houdini caught him wearing that outfit, and he's like... <laughs> This is for work, honey. It's, <laughs> I, it's, I'm an escape artist. <laughs> the difference between an illusionist and a magician, uh, well, th there is a difference. The word magician is from the Greek work magia, uh, which means one who wears a top hat and a cape and looks like a queenie vampire. <laughs> I'll drink your blood. <laughs> It's very good. Yeah, it's very good. Was you, that was that, that, like a Queenie vampire? Yeah, I like that. Very accurate. Very accurate. <laughs> You're not really hitting me with organic balls of energy. I'm here to hit you out, man. You want me to, yeah, you want me to hit no, you? No, no, it's sounding sarcastic, I'll actually. come over there and hit no, you with no, my organic balls over, if yeah. you want some. You want some Don't of that? start me, man. I'm in the middle of the monologue. It's meant to be a monologue. Here's a clue. Mono. One. One. Monologue. Look at you. You're there. That's two of us. <laughs> That's not a monologue, that's an, a thing, a duologue. Well, then don't turn to me and talk to me during the damn monologue, all right? <laughs> you make a fair point. But, but if I don't turn to you and talk to you during the monologue, how will the folks at home understand that I'm deconstructing the genre? Do that thing with your hand again. Yeah, right. What the hell was that talking about? Oh, being an illusionist. Yeah, no, the, the magician is one thing. An illusionist is someone who shows you something that defies the laws of nature, thus creating anxiety. 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 It's like anxiety, but there's a G or a T in there that I wasn't looking for. An anxiety. Someone that creates a kind of weird feeling in your stomach. Like Bruce Jenner or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, you, did you just snort it there? You snorted there. I wasn't even doing it. I just had a go... <laughs> Look, first of all, here's a trick. I just want to give you a tip to the studio audience before we go any further. Trying to hold in your laughter is not really what we're going for! <laughs> Let it out! It's not like... <laughs> <laughs> You're not here to hold in your damn laughter! Yeah, what the hell, man? Don't internalize Wait, hold in our laughter. Let's not hit him with organic balls of orgasm again. <laughs> Let's keep our organic balls to ourselves, and then we can use them later when we go to a fancy restaurant. <laughs> Sometimes I don't know where my rage comes from. <laughs> oh, right, yes, magicians uh, and illusionists. Uh, they both get mad if you do, you know, if you call what they do a trick. I once had a famous magician say to me, a trick is something a hooker does for money. <laughs> I can't tell you which magician said that. All I can tell you is he hires a lot of hookers. <laughs> <clears throat> David Copperfield. <laughs> Houdini. Harry Houdini uh, was an illusionist, but he was also the president of the American Society of Magicians. He was a very popular president for a while, anyway, until he passed Houdini Care. <laughs> no, 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 you know what? Hold it in, will you? Hold it in! <laughs> I know. Unbelievable. That's it, I'm done. It started off well, but they, they're holding in their, their organic balls. I can't go any further. Yeah, never, don't hold your organic balls in. That's a medical condition of some sort, I think. <laughs> Are 
Are you making a yeah, you making a bull's uh, like testicle bowl? No, no, I would never do that. Not on this oh, show. No, no. That, no. Would do that. No. <laughs> Well, uh, probably a commercial break. I'd yeah, okay, I can get you there. <laughs> probably best if we go to commercials first, though. I understand. All I right. understand. You're watching The Late Late Show. The real trick is we're still on the air. <laughs> out of kilter tonight. I'm a little, uh, I'm a little uh, off my game. A little off my game. What's going on, man? What's well, happening? I don't know. I think my biorhythms are low. Your biorhythms? Yeah, yeah. My biorhythms. You know your rhythms of your bio? Sure, your bio. Yeah, that's a yeah. Maybe it's your uh, the clock. You got that clock ticking. <laughs> Do men have a cycle like like women? You know, like women have a cycle. Sure, men have a cycle? Yeah. sure, sure. Yeah. Might be. Can you hear the? I love that sound. I can't tell you how much I love that sound. The sound of an audience have no tootsie fruits. Idea was, <laughs> uh, you know that that sound of like you get. Most people are kind of like sitting there quietly, and you get a group of people who are looking like ah. <laughs> I can feel the fear in their eyes, and I think I'm doing my job properly. <laughs> I'm proving to you one more time. We are not like any other dog show. What time yeah. is it, Jeffrey Peterson? Well, I'll tell you. It's tweet mail time. Time to take advice from Canada's favorite illusionist, the great Poutini. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. Play the jingle. Yeah. Okay, uh, welcome back from the jingle. Um, this is uh, from Scott in Menden in Massachusetts. You ever been uh, Menden? Menden, yeah. Menden. yeah you ever, did you meet this fellow, sure, Scott? Hell yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, That's uh, a guy you wouldn't forget. No, no, he, uh, he lays quite an egg, that guy. <laughs> if you could eat any bird's egg at all, this isn't the tweet, it's just me asking you. I right? understand, I understand. If you could eat any bird's egg, what sure. would it be? Uh, I would say the whippoorwill. <laughs> Why the whippoorwill? It, it goes down gentle and easy. What about you? What about you? What egg? Uh, you well, I, I was first going to say ostrich. Oh yeah, yeah. But then I thought that's greedy. <laughs> ostrich is a big it's egg. A big egg, yeah. Yeah. It's a big egg. So then I thought maybe lark. The lark. Then I thought too small. Too small. Too small. So then I decided to settle on hen. <laughs> because that's just right. Just right. <laughs> Brought to you by the hen growers of America. <laughs> Who grow hens? <laughs> uh, Scott in Hendon's uh, Menden, so he's somewhere. He says, "Craig, if you could time travel, where would you go first? I'd go back to the beginning of the monologue and not do it." Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Yeah. <laughs> this is from David in Bartley, California. You ever been there? Bartley, yeah. 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 What, what did you like about it? The uh, the, the mallard. Uh, my friend uh, David. He's a mallard. <laughs> he's a mallard. We did. We hung out. We did some time together. We did some time together. You did time? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah. You went to prison with a duck? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Uh, he says, Craig, how long do you think the current fad of brightly colored pants for a young man will last? Well, in Berkeley, California, for a long time. Yeah. That's right. Here in Los Angeles, I didn't know there was a, a current fad of brightly colored pants for a young man. Did you know huge, about this? It's huge, sweeping the nation. <laughs> well, I'm afraid I'm just staying with the old mustard slacks. <laughs> By the way, mustard slacks was my favorite blues musician. Do you like mustard oh, slacks? Good old mustard slacks. Man. Old mustard slacks. Yeah. Baby, I want all my pants. <laughs> <That's it>. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, this is from uh, Angel in West Hollywood, California. It's funny, when you hear Angel, you think that's a girl's name. And then when you see West Hollywood, you think it's a guy's name. Doesn't it? Yeah. When I, when I uh, hear Angel, I think brightly colored slacks. That's what I think. Well, you're always thinking about brightly yes, colored I slacks. Am. And the young men that wear them. Yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Angel says, Craig, how come you never let the guests kick the soccer ball, but you do? Well, it's my ball. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe you let people come around and kick balls at your house, Angel. <clears throat> <laughs> this is from Luann and uh, Casey in South Carolina. Uh, you ever been there? The best of the Carolinas, the South. <laughs> You like the North? You like Northern Carolina? I like them both. You like both? Yeah, yeah. It's like chicken and fish or tea or coffee or... What's the other one, Jeff? <laughs> I can't say on the air. <laughs> How dare you? Oh! I was going to make him say a bisexual reference. Oh, I know. I'll make it a magic reference. It's okay. like uh, cups and balls. <laughs> that was clever. All right, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Luann says, uh, <coughs> Craig, is Betty White as nice in real life as she's seen on TV? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, Betty's a lovely woman. She'll be out here in a minute. She's fantastic. What a girl. Oh, she's, she's great. Yeah. What a oh, lovely woman she is. <laughs> you got to watch your back, man. you got to watch your back. I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm torn between my fear of Betty White and my love of telling the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and finally, this is from David in Cherry Hills, New Jersey. I don't know if you can tell, but David's a chick next to two balls there. Can you see that? <laughs> you put the photograph yeah, on man. it, man. Uh, uh, David says, Craig, who is your Hollywood idol? Ooh, uh, it would have to be Betty, Betty White, I think. Betty they? White, Betty White, yeah. And I'll and I tell you why it's Betty White, because uh, I want to live. <laughs> we'll be right back, everybody. We'll tonight is an American treasure. Her show, Hot in Cleveland, kicks off the fifth season Wednesday with a live episode. Please welcome my friend, the glorious, fantastic, incandescent beauty that is Betty White, everybody! Sensational! What wonderful to see you with your glorious blouse and trousers. Oh, thank you. It it beats coming out without them. I really, think, you know. You'd be surprised at some of the strumpets that turn up here. Oh, really? The women too. Oh. <laughs> here, uh, are you having trouble with your feet reaching the floor there? This chair's about. I keep this stool for whenever Tom Cruise oh, is on oh, the show. I, I, uh, there you, you go. You don't want me to swing. Okay. <laughs> I, I think wanting you to swing and stopping you swinging seems to be impossible. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I like your pearls. It's a lovely pearl necklace. Oh, thank Savannah. you, darling. Are they thank real? I love, your, I love your polka dots. Thanks very much. They're to match your pearls. That's right. They're about I the didn't... same size. <laughs> Are they real? Did you fetch them from the ocean bed yourself? No, no, I didn't. I just, uh, I had help. <laughs> you hired divers. I did, I did, I did. And that was the kind of the best part of the whole no, thing. No, right, yeah. 
<coughs> so, Hot in Cleveland, live episode. Then. Live episode. We're all excited about it. Yeah, I don't know Betty doing live TV. I mean, except for this show, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, it'd be, you know, it's difficult. There's, you know, it, it could go wrong. I did it for four years, five and a half hours a day, six days a week. Yes, but you should practice. I did, all right. Well, then I will. Okay. No, when did you do that? Uh, the well, Betty White Show? When I started, yeah, oh. Betty White Show for four years. I was on live five and a half hours five a day. Five and a half, six half days hours? A, six days a week with no script, just blithering on. Like, <laughs> like some people do now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, don't you get nervous, though? Oh, no. No, not really. I tell you, the, the, the wonderful part of it, there are only two or three people watching you. you <laughs> seriously. Seriously, no matter what the numbers are on the ratings, you look into that camera, and there are only two or three people. Because if there are more than three people in a room, they're talking to each other. They're not listening to you. Oh. So that I, camera is just two or three people. I like to think of people who are ignoring the show in sports bars. Oh, yeah, and just drinking. Yeah, they're just drinking, they're doing their thing, and I'm like in the corner going... <laughs> and then that, that, any kind of nerves I have just go away, because I think nobody cares. Nobody oh, cares. I care. I, I know care. you care. Right, just, yeah. Why? I told you about the leg. Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. I'm sorry. You said to start with the end. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Work your way up. <laughs> do you know, do you know we've known each other almost 20 years? We have. I know, it's not incredible. Oh, and then you had to talk about Houdini. Didn't yeah, I no. <laughs> Did you ever, uh, did you? <laughs> I, no, I not only knew who. Uh, no, you didn't we, know. Oh, yes, I did. Did you really? We had a, a very lovely relationship. <laughs> oh, we did. Does this refresh your memory? No, I, I, I really thought we had something going, and then the son of a gun disappeared. Are you, uh, are you, a, are you a fan of magic? Do you like the, uh, the... Oh, I'm a fan of almost anything. Oh, no, come on. <laughs> really? What, what have I got here, sitting here on the desk? This is you. Oh, went to the Tucson Zoo, the Reed Zoo in, in Tucson, and they had these baby lion cubs. And can you see that baby? Yeah, we can see oh, it right here. They are uh, so cute. And I was holding, and he just, he cuddled in, and everybody else had to put gloves on because his little claws. But he just settled in, and I didn't even have to put gloves on. He was just a moment. Was he afraid of you, Betty, do you think? <laughs> We are There's good many. friends. I'm a little worried, though, that you're wearing a leopard print. <laughs> Isn't he thinking, like, oh, no, a leopard. Because uh, <laughs> this leopard that smells like perfume has grabbed me. <laughs> it's a gay leopard. It's a, a gay leopard. <laughs> you know, you get that in the animal kingdom. Okay? The, the humans aren't the only species that have uh, homosexuality, you know. There's plenty of them. Oh, Flamingos, I, for example. I know, That's I know. I'm, and also with some of the fellas that I know. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, <laughs> so you were at Tucson Zoo, eh? Yes. Are you still doing... Are you still with uh, L.A. Zoo? Oh, yes. I went up there recently with uh, my youngest boy. Oh, did you? Yes, yes, we oh. saw the elephants. He went crazy. Oh, when it, I say he, I meant me. I was like, oh! My God. <laughs> but isn't it a great zoo? Yeah. And the uh, elephant enclosure is huge. Huge. Our pachyderm the forest is just gorgeous. And I, 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 that's my other home. I've worked with them over 50 years. Do you have your own uh, place to have a tire swing and stuff? Uh -huh. uh, yeah, sure. Are you ever tempted to throw your poop at the customers as they come? <laughs> 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 That's what I love. That's what I love about you, darling. You're all class. All class, all the time, Betty. <laughs> all the time. <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Betty White, everybody. We'll be right back. We're back on. Welcome back, everybody. I'm here with Betty White. When you're not here, she hurts me. 
<laughs> only a little. <laughs> In a way that only she knows how. <laughs> Uh, so I'll be uh, on the Haunt in Cleveland this year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming to do a couple of episodes. I, I am believe. so thrilled, and the girls will be ecstatic. We yes, had such I... fun with you before. Well, yes, yeah. they are a lot of fun. How do you think he got on the show? <laughs> <laughs> it's a very nice show to do. I have to say, there's uh, lots of lovely things to do there. Well, and the, the nice thing about it squaring up for a second is that on both sides of the camera everybody is so it's the happiest it's very thing. happy yeah, yeah. i mean i think it's because everyone's so wealthy yeah, i think that could be it yeah you i mean you guys are all extremely rich and the crew are yeah, extremely rich right. yeah, all they, of us are loaded or most of the shows yeah, you know, yeah. yeah. here it's a little bit of a different tale <laughs> betty we're out of time okay i'll go home then. no 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 no, no. Well, we have, we have to end it properly. You want to, you want to do uh, uh, awkward pause or uh, meditation I've been doing recently? Oh, meditation? meditation I've music? never meditated. Oh, you're going to love it. What you do is you stay still and listen to Enya. Uh, and listen to whom? Enya. I, I, I think she might be Canadian. Oh, well, that could be. Yeah. All right, so what do I do? Just sit still? What, uh, breathe, breathe, breathe in, breathe out. Try and clear your mind of little baby, or maybe fill your mind with baby lions. Ah, the baby lions are gambling across the field towards you, Betty. And they're saying, Betty, we appreciate your work for us. This is actually working. <laughs> Betty White, everybody, we'll be right back. A very fine, handsome young actor. Excellent young man, isn't he, Jeff? Beautiful, beautiful. What? No, not beautiful. Well, he is beautiful, beautiful, but he's also a lovely man. A fine man. Tall, handsome, jaws. Smells good. Smells good. Smells a bit like uh, a manly smell, but not too, not off-putting. Not like you know, sweaty. Right, right. More like sort of cedar wood. Cedar wood. Yeah. Yeah, or pecan. <laughs> you have seen him in uh, Marvel Agents of Shield. Tuesdays on ABC. Trying to jazz it up a bit, man. <laughs> Take a look at this. Holy crackers! Oh. <laughs> Brad Dalton, everybody! Brad Dalton! Oh, Brad, please take a seat. Thanks, sir. Brad, you look. Whoa, nice! Very nice socks. What are they, foxes on your They're socks? They're foxes. They're That's, foxes. They I've, are. Got, I've got, uh, I'm wearing tights this evening. Oh, yes, very nice. Very Well, it gets very cold nice. here. It does. A little bit. I don't feel it, but this is nice. This is nice. Look at us. Well, ice. we're sock guys. We're sock guys. Yeah, we are a little bit. You know. Yeah. Are you a sock guy? Um, I am for the show. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> They, did you meet Betty White backstage? I didn't. Oh, that she would have liked you a lot, my friend. <laughs> She would have liked you. I know Betty a long time. You're yeah. just the kind of thing she likes. <laughs> oh, thank yeah. you. Yeah. So, uh, really on the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., yeah. you have the superpowers and uh, you read minds. And yeah, I have hair that stays exactly the same. Right, okay. That's no what matter I what I do, I can jump out of airplanes. I can. Is, do you have superpowers or not superpowers? I don't have superpowers, no. Uh, you're no. Just, an, uh, just a regular guy who's fighting this woman on a train. Yeah, yeah, thanks for playing that clip where I punched the girl. Yeah. And she had a knife. Yeah, she had a knife. Have you ever fought anyone with a knife? Uh, no, not with a knife. So, what have you fought them with then? <laughs> um, uh, uh, you ever been in fights? Bar fights? I've shot daggers at them with my eyes. <laughs> Dude, that sounds a little bit like actors in a coffee shop yeah, to does. me. I'm talking about... Us. Where are you from originally? I'm from San Jose. San Jose? The home Nobody of... Nobody else. Um... <laughs> No, they, none of these people are from San Jose. I, I think I maybe three of them are from Canada, and the rest I have no idea. 
I thought I would feel the organic balls of energy. No, please. no, yeah. <laughs> They're, uh, they've all been used up, I'm afraid. Yeah. yeah. What do you do up there? Did you, uh, you go to school up there? I went to school in San Jose, um, and then I went to Berkeley. Oh, and did you really? Did you wear brightly colored pants by any chance? <laughs> no. no. Do you, are you, because you're a young man about town, have you got brightly colored pants? I don't have brightly, no. No, I don't think it's a thing. Yes, I don't think it's a thing. I don't think it's a thing either. I think you're probably, you wear suits, right? Um, yeah, you know, I, I dress down more oh. so than I do on the show. Yeah. You okay. know, get me in a jean jacket and like, and 501s and I'm good. All That's right, it. And, and then maybe some country music. And then maybe some country music. Yeah, yeah. yeah and then driving no. your truck. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a truck? I need to get a truck. What have you got? It's one of them little hybrids, isn't it? <laughs> Let's just say this. I have a hatchback with a baby on board sticker. Oh, you got a little baby? Yeah. What you got? I got a two-year-old daughter. You haven't slept in two years. Yeah. <laughs> Between that and the show. Yeah, so, that's, that's quite that's a lot. Two, I, I have two boys, but they're yeah. older than that. Um, yeah. But uh, girls, aren't girls okay when they're young? She thinks that everything I say is hilarious. Oh, boy, that, that surely won't last. That will change. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's a great gift, but... Yes, right now, coming home, you know, it's like, Daddy, Daddy, yeah, Daddy, Daddy. Da it's the best, best feeling. Yeah, no, it's, it's really lovely. Nice. Do you change diapers? Yeah. I changed her very first diaper. Really? Yeah, because in the hospital, it's like, if I don't do this, I when am I going to learn? I never understood guys that have a problem with it anyway. When he's like, oh, I've never changed any diapers, like it's some kind of macho thing. Like, yeah. well, then change them. Because I, whenever I thought, you know, when I was changing my kids' diapers, mm -hmm. I kind of liked the smell. Really? <laughs> really? Yeah, I was like... You know, everything, everything's working, everything's going along, you know? I mean, it was reassuring, you know? I didn't, I didn't have a problem with it. Yeah. yeah. You're, Am I weird? Is that no. what you, you... I was you look at me like I'm a little weird. I'm beating you to the punch, yeah. Just want to see how you felt about that. I feel fine about it. How do you feel about <laughs> it? Are you in therapy? No, no. I was. Really? Yeah, at Yale they have free therapy. You went to Yale? Yeah, I went I to Yale. I thought you went to Berkeley. I went to Berkeley as an undergrad, then I went to Yale, uh, the Yale School of Drama. So you have... Like this fantastically expensive education. I, I, that's and you thing. became an actor. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. No, it's true. I can't say where I went, though, without sounding incredibly pretentious. Oh, don't you worry know, about it. You went to a good school. Be yeah. proud of it, man. That's it's great. True. Own it. It's okay. Well, you know, I went to school with Lupita, who just won in the award she was here? for 12 years of Slate. Yeah. Yes, yeah, she was. Yeah, this she was her was first here. show. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't it? yeah. Very nice girl. Yeah. Oh, she's great. She's great. So yeah, you, she won an Oscar. She did. She did. Um, we did a play together. We did uh, Taming of the Shrew. She played Kate the Shrew. Yeah, yeah. I played uh, this person you've never heard of. <laughs> the, the smallest Martin, probably the whole canon. Really? Toronto. Yes, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's, that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Yeah? You, you oh, played, yeah. what, Toronto? Oh, yeah. In the... Toronto. Is Toronto, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No. I actually... But I graduated. Right. Um, and I, then I get this job, and everybody's like, oh, my God, congratulations. It's great. You've made that it. That is great. Yeah. It's great. And I still have this text message from her that's like, oh, my God, you're so far ahead of me. I'm going to my first red carpet. Like, any advice? Wow. So, yeah. anyway, I would just like to say, Lupita, you're welcome. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because, no, you know. Uh, but you, you know, you don't want to peak too early, man. You yeah. want to get a move. Because what you want to do is, like, mm -hmm. you do a couple of years on the shield, right? You establish yourself, you know, getting beat up by girls and yeah. trains. Yeah. And then, <laughs> then you move into being a private detective. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you want to be, don't you? Surely. I want to be a, a private dick. Private dick. <laughs> you want to solve crimes with a pipe. That's right. Well, well I don't have a pipe. Oh. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> oh, you didn't get one. <laughs> oh, never mind. No. Uh, well, I think we got. No, we don't. We got some hand sanitizer and some kangaroo testicles. Yeah. About it. You ever been to Australia? No. They got kangaroos there. Do they? <laughs> Where have you been overseas that I might know? Where have I been? Um, I have been uh, to Tijuana, Mexico. I... <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, I've been there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, I think what were you been... doing there? <laughs> well, I was building houses with uh, Habitat for Humanity. I've also been to Zambia doing the same thing. Yeah. Zambia is quite yeah. a distance. I mean, you know, it Tijuana is a two and a half hour drive, but Zambia. <laughs> Zambia is a lot. And you were yeah. building houses? I was, yeah. Dude, you're an excellent young man. Oh, thank you. That's great. Yeah. Were you, uh...
You're a carpenter? Uh, no. But my first job, my uncle owns his own construction business. Did he go with you? No, he did not. No. Uh, but my very first job was like sweeping up and, you know, nailing stuff. So are you driving my truck you do, with you doing... my car and my denim jacket? Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's all working. Yeah. So are you sweeping up and nailing that? <laughs> no more. Don't kid a kid, everybody. <laughs> Well, I mean, it's excellent news. Congratulations. Thank you. I, uh, Thank you. I'm very excited for, uh, for this show. Yeah, yeah, me too. And my life afterward is a private dick. I mean... Well, or maybe something else. Maybe Time Traveler, Time yeah. Traveling Cop. Oh, yeah. Did you ever see that Jean-Claude Van Damme movie, Time Cop? You could remake that. I could remake that. They're remaking everything. Yeah, Robo remake Cop. that. He travels in time and he solves crime. I look at even right say, even down. rhymes, even rhymes. He travels in time and, and solves crime. <laughs> That's what you need in a good tag. It has to rhyme. <laughs> so, meditation or awkward pause? Mm. We've had a few awkward pauses. Let's do, let's do some. Wait, wait, wait. They weren't awkward. They were good. They weren't awkward? Yeah. <laughs> they were getting to know you pauses. They were feeling it out, there man. They go. were just, they were so, it's yeah. fun. Well, zip, zip, zip. Uh, we, we can do uh, medi medi medication. I was yes, just please. about to say that. Yeah. All right, well, uh, meditation then? Yeah. Do you do that? Do you do the yoga? I don't do the yoga. Well, what do you do then for exercise? We did it, we did it in grad school, but that doesn't... That doesn't no, 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 no. I'm talking street yoga. Hey, that's right. I have a question for you before we go. Yeah, yeah, okay. Fellow Scotsman on the show, Ian DeCostiger. Really? My best friend, he plays Fitz. He wants me to ask. I was like, dude, I'm going to meet a fellow Scotsman. What should I ask? Are you a Rangers fan? Or are you a Celtics fan? He knows that when he asks that question, he reveals more about himself oh, than does he, he does about me, yeah. <laughs> now, you might, know what I, you might not know what I'm talking about, I... but he does. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, meditation? Meditation. Okay. Meow. I'm sorry, everyone. We ran a little late tonight, so we don't have much time for fooling around here at the end. However, maybe time for one trick. Ah, uh, yeah. Right. Uh, it's Houdini night. Uh, illusion, I should say. <laughs> Jeff, I'm about to... Please hold these kangaroo testicles. All right. Okay. You can see they're perfectly ordinary kangaroo testicles. Nothing funny about them. Uh, They've in no way been altered. Right? Right. All right, I put them there. Don't touch them. Now, Jeff, put your hands behind your back. You see, this is why we can't have anything nice.